Let's continue with our Pythagorean theorem and bring in the converse of that a little bit. Part A, to satisfy safety regulations, the distance from the wall to the base of the ladder should be at least one-fourth the length of the ladder. Did Drew set up the ladder correctly? So here's Drew. He's got on some nice orange overalls. Uh, here is the ladder and we can see that he's setting the ladder up 2.5 feet away from the wall. That's where the base of the ladder is. And that's reaching a height of nine feet. So the first thing we're gonna do is find the length of the ladder. We have enough information to do that. So our first step will be find the length of the ladder. All right, so we do have a right triangle over here, the ladder to the wall and up. Um, if I were to redraw that over here, here's our right angle. This is 2.5 and this is nine. And our hypotenuse opposite of our right angle, that's where side C is. We can use Pythagorean theorem to find our missing side. Um, we've got 2.5 squared plus 9 squared equals c squared. 2.5 squared is 6.25. 9 squared is 81. Those, the 6.25 and 81 are on the same side of the equation, so we can just add those together. We'll get 87.25 equals c squared. Now we want side c, so we square root both sides. Again, we're just going to keep the positive answer. We don't need to bring in the negative because we are representing a side of a triangle. So C is about equal to, we'll do some rounding, 9.34 and our unit is feet. So it's about 9.34 feet long. All right, so in the picture, let me label 9.34. Sometimes it's hard to find a color that's gonna show up in the picture. All right, so to satisfy the safety regulations, the distance from the wall to the base of the ladder, which is 2.5 feet, should be at least one fourth the length of the ladder. So our second step that we're gonna do, let's see, step two, we're gonna find one fourth the length of the ladder. So all we do is we take one fourth times the length of the ladder. We just figured out was 9.34. We multiply that out and we get about 2.335. So for, um, to meet the safety regulation, the ladder must be at least this many feet away from the wall. Oops, wrote that wrong. 2.335 feet from the wall. So how far away is the ladder? Well, the ladder is 2.5 feet. Is that at least 2.335 feet? Because it is longer than that, um, we have met that safety regulation. So the ladder is 2.5 feet away. So nice job, Drew. So Drew set the ladder up correctly. All right, part B. The length of each cross piece of the fence is 10 feet. So here we have fence posts and we have these cross pieces and they're telling us the cross pieces are 10 feet. Why would a rancher build this fence with the measurements shown? So if we take a look at the cross beam right here, they're telling us that is 10 feet. So why would he have a post six feet and have the post eight feet apart? Well, if we pull out that triangle that we can see is being formed in the picture, this is six, this is eight, this is 10. Um, 
does this create a right triangle? Oh, I look at that. I even drew in the right triangle. We don't know if it's a right triangle right now. So I'm going to get rid of my little, we have some sort of triangle. Does this satisfy the Pythagorean theorem? If we plug in our three sides into a squared plus b squared equals c squared, does it work out? So let's plug in 6 squared plus 8 squared. We want to know if that equals our hypotenuse squared. If this is true, we have a right triangle. And we'll talk about why, the tri why it would be important to have a right triangle. But let's just continue with the math. 6 squared is 34. 8 squared is 64. Does that equal 100? 34 plus 64 oops, is 100. That does equal 100. So that means that this is a right triangle. So let's put a little summary statement. These measurements create a right triangle. which gives him vertical posts. That are perpendicular to the ground. I'm just using a perpendicular symbol. We remember that. And if those posts are perpendicular to the ground, he's going to have a stable fence, and that's his goal.